fans, welcome this week to James and Pat do Campbell County Matters. It's like the R.L. Gibson show, only smart and better. And there's not a little bald guy from Scott County rousing the rabbit. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, we've already had our first political question come in via Twitter. At the Vossifieri, was we to discuss the implications of Romney going back for the NAACP and what that means for his campaign. <coughs> well, apparently the Mormon sorting hat told Mitt Romney, hey, go talk to these black folks. Make fun of their ma their magical leader, Barack. You know, tell them how you're going to undo all of the stuff he's done and see how many tomatoes he will throw at you. Then go marry multiple women, move to Utah onto the Mormon reservation. And you'll live happily ever after. That's that's Mitt Romney and the NAACP in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Pat, you smell bad. Would you wear that shirt last week? Oh, uh, yes, it was tennis shirt. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not changed clothes since last week. Oh God. Uh, it, it, it seems reasonable. I just assumed I was going to wear the same shirt for every episode. Uh, we've got a call here, Pat. Let's awesome. See here. Let let's, me let's put, put that on speaker. speaker. You're with James and Pat, caller. Just in case you didn't hear a caller, um, there are viewers, uh, our caller is a member of District 1. A proud member of District 1. A proud one. member of District 1, and is concerned about, who did he say, Pat? The hyena himself, Rector Miller. The man who comes to Campbell County Games wearing Hall's colors. The man who, to me, is proof that voters of the 1st District obviously drink too much. You know, he, he got voted into office by some miracle. You know, he got to go on his coach firing spree. He got to come to games, you know, decked out in his red red and, red and whatever other color Halls is. Got to cheer against Campbell County at the rededication of the John R. W. Brown Gymnasium. You know, voters of the first district, you know, be proud. Now I will I will say this. The well, first district's the strangest district in the county. It's Valley View, Pine Crest, and Coolidge. Does that make any sense to you? I mean, you you know how the county's laid out. That doesn't make much sense to me, Pat. Unfortunately, we are stuck with Rector for two more <coughs> years, Collar. Um, he will probably spend these next two years trying to make Campbell County Schools as bad as possible. And um, just generally grin and laugh like a hyena anytime anything bad goes on. No, that's absolutely not true, Collar, because I do not live in the first district. Well, thank you, caller. I appreciate your political oh. support if I ever choose to run. Campbell County politics at its finest. I will, say, I will also say this, voters of the 1st District. In two years, it will be time to vote that hyena out of office. You know, now that you mention it, this shirt is kind of right. Lord have mercy, Pat, it's killing me. It is like killing me. Let's see if we can get another call here. I'm sure we can rouse one up. What do you think, Pat? We can. I'm sure we can. There's, There's got to be somebody out there to call. We found one here, Pat. Duh. Welcome, caller. I'm just terrible at the skid boat. I'm terrible at the skid boat. I'm going in out here staying on this point. What are we going to do? Take it up for your space for all of our churches. Well, okay, first off... 
you're not one of them fish huggers, are you? Well, yeah, first off, you know, you say Heather's this point. Isn't that just a flat, open part of land? Well, you make a Dr. very Goodwill. interesting point. Um, maybe they can, like, you know, develop squirrel houses, or like for dogs, except bigger, and like squirrel motels, and etc. Well, you know what? I, I think the next big tourist industry could be bird condos on the lake. Yep, yep, that makes sense. You know, you're always speaking my language. We just need to get them darn people out of here and them darn Yankees to come in here and they crowd up Walmart. You know, it's not here, but it's not worth the crowd. We do. I'm in total agreement with you. Call her tourist or just a nuisance. I've lost some very valuable items in the lake, and I just, I don't like it. I don't like the lake. Well, well maybe we could drain it. Let's just and, drain and, and it. And get your sunglasses back if you recently lost. <laughs> well, boys, you're, you're always speaking my language. You, you know the common man around these parts. I'm glad to hear it. Right. We are a part of the community, Kyler. We are a part of the community, and we understand. Well, James, I just can't wait until you start running for county mayor. So I know you're going to make a fight. Right. I'm well, going to run for mayor, county. folks. Uh, speaking of county mayor, I just got a tweet. About county mayorhood. At Donkey Honky has tweeted me wanting to know about this Scott Kitts fellow that, that's running for Scott <coughs> County Mayor, but yet has his sides in Campbell County. Well, fans, I can tell you, Scott is a um, uniquely interesting being. He's actually running for mayor of Campbell County. His signs are just very confusing. But you know, he is a multi talented individual. Mr. Kitts can, well, he, he can, he, he can take you for comic books, sell you some fine, fine comic books, he, he'll, he'll, he'll clean your house for you, you know, I mean, when, when he was on, when he was on the county commission, it was as interesting as it got. You know, we had some real characters, and we had Scott Kitts. We had Lynn Lettner. We had the late, great Adrian Baird, God rest his soul. Now the county commission is just boring. You, you get people like Maria Ayers with her hair somewhere right out of about 1987. I mean, my God, woman. The 80s, the 80s called, they want their hairstyle back. You know, I like Marie, Pat. She's an awful nice lady. I looked at a couple of houses she's got. You know, she's in real estate. I would call Marie a good friend of mine. Oh, I like Marie. She just looks like somebody... Somebody that was an extra and desperately seeking Susan. And that will happen sometimes. But you know, I mean, yeah, I, I do give her credit. She she has um, been a woman in the real estate industry, which is a male-dominated industry. Absolutely. She's just not as much fun as Scotty Kitts was. You know, I've got to give Scotty credit, too, now. He always had more signs than any politician around. You know, they were just so plentiful. Well, Scott definitely was an interesting character. Maybe in two years he'll run again. Fans, we want to thank you for your questions, your Absolutely. comments, your cussing, your discussing. And we'll be back with someday soon with another James and Pat and Campbell County Matters. Right. You all have a good evening now.